Let's be honest. Prior to this current chaos, our society had been polarized. During the last few years, our world had been more segmented and divided than it had been in a very long time. Many of us opted for separation instead of unity. We were taking sides and picking ideological teams. We were choosing anger over compassion, race over humanity, and sometimes lies over the truth. But now we are all being forced to face a global reality. And guess what? The coronavirus or COVID-19 doesn't care if you're young or old, rich or poor, black or white. It doesn't care if you're Republican or Democrat. It doesn't care if you're famous, infamous, or unknown. Your opinion about climate change doesn't matter to COVID-19. It doesn't care what country you're from, who your parents are, or what university you attended. So where do we go from here? Well, we can start by admitting that our strength is rooted in our unity. We can start by acknowledging that we should have put our differences aside a long time ago because they are insignificant compared to this one truth. We are all in this together. We are all in this together. And while I may be quarantined where I live and you're quarantined where you live, our prayers for one another have no physical boundaries. There is no time or space in the spirit. So let's pray for one another and encourage one another. Find someone that needs your help to calm their fears. Check on your elderly neighbors, your relatives, your friends, and let's remember that God is with us. COVID-19 hasn't caught him off guard, so don't be afraid. We're not alone and it's not too late. Now is the time to get back to compassion, return to kindness, and re-embrace our humanity. We can use this pandemic as an opportunity to reset our thinking, readjust our attitudes, and rededicate ourselves to the things that really matter. Our children are watching. Let's show them that the love we have in us is stronger than the situation that's happening around us. God is with us. He is for us. And most importantly, he is in us. 1 John 4, 4 says, Greater is he that is in me than he that is, that is in the world. This truth, it gives me peace. I hope it gives you peace too. Again, stay calm. Reach out. Lean into your faith. And let's continue to pray for one another. We access our greatest power through prayer, unity, and trusting God's word. Remember, we are all in this together. Keep the faith life speakers.